In a recent incident, two missiles were launched from territory controlled by Yemen's Houthi rebels, narrowly missing a commercial tanker loaded with Indian manufactured jet fuel near the strategically vital Bob El Mandeb Strait. This marks the first instance of the rebels targeting an energy shipment bound for the Suez Canal, underscoring the increasing gravity of their maritime activities. On the same day, the USS Mason, a U.S. warship reportedly intercepted and downed a suspected Houthi drone that was heading towards it. Thankfully, no casualties were reported in either incident, according to two anonymous officials who provided details. The targeted vessel, the Ardmore Encounter, bears the flag of the Marshall Islands and was en route north towards the Suez Canal in the Red Sea, as indicated by satellite tracking data. Originating from Mangalu, the tanker had a security detail on board, armed and ready to respond to potential threats. Reports suggest that the security personnel engaged in defensive actions, firing upon small boats attempting to approach the private intelligence firm. Ambre confirmed these details, stating that the guards successfully thwarted any attempts to board the vessel. Ardmore Shipping Corp., the owner and operator of the tanker, assured that no unauthorized individuals had boarded the vessel and all crew members were unharmed. The company confirmed that the ship remained fully operational despite the perilous encounter. The cargo consisting of jet fuel originated from Shell Marpial Aviation Fuel Services, a LED, a collaboration between the oil giant Shell and India's national oil company. The targeted fuel shipment was destined for either Rotterdam in the Netherlands or Gavel, Sweden, according to Ardmore Shipping. However, Shell declined to provide any comments on the incident. This attempted attack on the Ardmore encounter marks a significant escalation in the Houthi rebels' campaign against maritime vessels. Backed by Iran, the rebels have been increasingly targeting ships in the region, heightening concerns about the safety of international maritime traffic. The incident also adds another layer of complexity to the global dynamics intertwining with the ongoing conflict in Gaza.